Hey guys, I put together a little bit of a video. I wanted enough footage uh, to produce a video uh, that's solely from my Loyalist Field. Uh, you've heard me mention the Loyalist Field a bunch of times. The Loyalist Field is literally that. It's, a, it's an original land grant from the Loyalists, 1786. Um, and a quick rundown on the story of this place before I get to the video. Um, it's just a field. Um, it's a private permission that I have and I've had it for a couple of years now. Um, got some good things off of it and uh, just recently I've, I've gone back and tried a few spots that I haven't really hit too hard. Uh, and the reason being is it's grown up quite bad. You'll see in the video as well that uh, the plant stalks are really strong, um, really hard to swing in, hard to dig in, and it's, it's a nightmare. But uh, I did manage a few good finds. So uh, again, this field was granted by the Loyalists in 1786 to one particular Loyalist. This guy decided that he would give up his grant because he wanted to move to another town. He gave up his grant to his friend, uh, who is an author, who is a loyalist officer. Anyway, that officer, uh, upon clearing the land and getting ready to build his house, he died. Uh, his wife was left with um, a number of children, so she continued on and built that house. It's a large two-story home. Uh, it was torn down in the 40s. So uh, that house was completed. I hear it was completed in 1823. Um, but anyway, I managed a few finds from there. One of them is very, very personal um, to the lady who built the house originally. In fact, it beyond it before she was married um, to her maiden name. So uh, you'll see that in the video and as well as a, a few other uh, really great finds. So stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you at the wrap up. Hey guys, apologize for any wind noise. It's pretty blustery tonight. Anyway, um, the hole before this one, dog buckle. Then I, was ha I had like an 11.22 on the E-Track. That is not aluminum. That's actually silver. And it's initialed. But I'll have to clean it up to really see. But that's what's left of a thimble. It's like cut in half and smashed thin. And uh, that's the only signal in there. So that's it. Maybe the other parts are somewhere. Alright, see you at the next one. Next find. Nice and white. Musket ball. Awesome. I got one here for stealth diggers. I know I keep referencing, but man, they're awesome. They put out some good videos. Anyway, what do you think of that for a CCR? Ugh, on to the next one. All right, next hole. This stuff is hard to swinging. Um, you can see it's quite tall and very strong. I mean my glove is sitting on top of it. Anyway, looks like we have a coin. It's green. Hmm. Let's do the pants rub. See what we got. get a darn good question I think that's gonna be an Indian clean it up a bit more just a sec well it's definitely an Indian but uh, I don't know I can't tell the date really crusty all right on to the next one there was more stuff in that hole I haven't got a blessed clue what this thing is. Oh. Looks like a bead. Or a really small ox knob, but I've never seen a gold guild ox knob before. That's cool. That one in the pouch. Check the hole again. 
Hey guys, I got a 946. I haven't had a 946 in this Loyalist field here for ages. Um, actually, I didn't have a 946 in this one. I had it in the other one and it ended up being an 8 real. So anyway, I'm doing a live dig because, well, I guess it could be the curse of the live dig. Bear with me here. The roots are really, really strong. Oops. I'm still trying to get used to this new phone. Um, I had a Sony Xperia Z1, and I upgraded, I guess, to uh, Samsung Galaxy X S5. And to be honest with you, I really don't find the camera is nearly as good on the S5 as it is on the Sony. But anyway, cool. <clears throat> I want to do this live just because I don't do any live digs and I'm kind of pumped about it. Just because it's such a good signal and there's very little trash anywhere near. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Sixpence? Oh, bullhead. 1816. George three. Sweet deal. Oh man. That's awesome. I hope it's not a counterfeit. Looks a little funky there right at the top. Alright, we'll see you at the next one. Awesome. Just one more find to show you. I just went across the road. Um, it's a big tree across the road. I'm not going to show it because then anybody from this area is going to know exactly where I am. So, anyway, got a little truck. I'm missing this arse end. Glass is still in it. Cool. Probably less knee. It's got one axle. Better than none. Cool. That's it for this hunt. I'm. Uh, I gotta go to work in like half an hour, so I gotta peel. So you guys take care. Good luck and happy hunting. Hey guys, so that was my quick video. I appreciate you guys for watching, and if you liked and commented, awesome. I really enjoy reading the comments. Um, yeah, so uh, you got to see that uh, piece of pounded silver thimble. It was cut and uh, straightened out flat. A couple things to note on that. I'm sure you did. Maybe some of you caught on to it. Um, the initials are the personal, one personal part of that. Um, the initials are that of the lady who built the house, um, and it's her maiden name. So her first name was Helen, and her last name was not going to say. Because if I do, then anybody can Google it and find out it's pretty much exactly where I am, or the general area. And yeah, that wouldn't be good. There's enough guys out here that I'm sure they would uh, take advantage of that pretty quick. So uh, anyway, I'm pretty happy with that shilling. Uh, that's a first for me. I've got a, a sixpence, but I don't have a shilling yet. So now I do um, Thought it was counterfeit. I cleaned it up a little bit uh, off-camera after the uh, the video and uh, it, it, it it the tarnish come right off so um, As you can notice behind me here is my finds display uh, Not very full yet, but it's getting there um, only the best wind up in here um, this was actually my grandmother's china cabinet and she left it to me when she died. So, uh, what better place to put all my stuff, huh? 
All right, I'm just gonna give you a quick look. You can take a, a little tour. So this is all like miscellaneous relics that I've uh, dug over the past two years. Some bridal rosettes and buttons, buckles. That's an old one. That one there is uh, 1650 to 1720. Some of those old copper rings, buttons, bangle, shoe buckles. And down here is mostly silver, but not all. Those spoons there my wife picked up for me at a discount store for like a dollar each. Um, set of teeth. That's all my silver. And we have that uh, 1800s bottle that I found in the creek. And then down here, some more miscellaneous relics, um, but all my coppers, large coppers and uh, Indians. Now some of them are like cartwheel pennies, as you can see down there, uh, the lighting isn't very good, but cartwheel pennies, George 2s, George 3s. Uh, some flying eagles and stuff, trivet. But anyway, that's how I display my finds. I'll give you a shot from... Yeah, it's just a china cabinet. But as you can see, when it's lit up, it, it actually uh, it looks pretty darn good. So anyway, thanks a million for watching, guys. I really appreciate it once again. Look forward to making another video for you and uh, look forward to seeing everybody else's videos as well. So let's get out there before the freeze. Take care. Happy hunting.